Hey y'all, welcome back to our latest book review episode on The Wandering Pilgrims. Today we will be reviewing the children's book When You See a Rainbow by Becky Dudley. So let's dive in. This episode of The Wandering Pilgrims podcast is sponsored by Anchor the easiest and fastest way to record, edit, and distribute your podcast. We love Anchor and the Anchor app. We've used it from the very beginning. It's so user-friendly, whether you're a beginner or veteran. It's free to use with tons of editing tools and free music to use, just to name a few things. They also take care of distributing your podcast to all major podcasting platforms like Spotify, Apple, Google, and so many more. So if you're looking to get into podcasting but don't know where to start, download the Anchor app or visit anchor.fm to get started today. This will be a short little review, but we just love this book. When You See a Rainbow is such a sweet little book. It is made in a board book style, so it's easy to hold for adults and kids. The illustrations are beautiful and full of color, as you would expect from a book themed around the rainbow. This book is great for younger kids. With its short little rhymes, When You See a Rainbow immediately introduces you to God's promise to Noah. It then uses the next few pages to discuss colors and creation in a way that kids will love. Ours sure does. And the illustration of Noah's Ark is extremely well done. It doesn't look silly or overpacked with animals. It looks like what the Bible describes. If you're familiar with Ken Ham and or Answers in Genesis, who created the Ark Encounter in the Creation Museum, you may have heard them talk about the bathtub or fairy tale arcs that are in a lot of kids' books. Sunday school lessons, TV shows, etc., these kind of arc illustrations look like they're about to burst at the seams with animals or that it will topple over at any second. We know these are meant to be cute, but as Answers in Genesis and Ken Ham point out, it undermines the biblical account and makes it more like a fairy tale, which could undermine a child's understanding that this was an actual historical event. We agree with their point and try to use children's resources that won't cause unnecessary doubt for any biblical subject and aren't drawn in an overly silly fashion. And this book does a great job with all of its beautiful illustrations. My favorite feature is the card insert in the back sleeve with the gospel presentation. It's a double-sided card that explains very plainly what the rainbow truly means from a biblical worldview and goes into a wonderful explanation of our sinfulness, why we need a Savior, and that salvation can be found in Jesus. I would highly recommend adding this book to your little one's collection. It's also one of my favorite go-to gifts for baby showers and newborns. If you'd like to pick up a copy, I'll put a link in the description, and you can also check out our other reviews on our website. If you're looking for any other gifts or things to add to your family's library. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Wandering Pilgrims podcast. If you liked it, please like, share, and subscribe. You can also find our fun educational and family travel videos on our YouTube channel at the link in the description. And don't forget about our new email newsletter. You can sign up for that at the bottom of our website, thewanderingpilgrims.com, so you never miss a post, a video, or an episode. And lastly, if you'd like to connect with us, we are on all social media platforms now, both old and new, as well as Patreon. Thanks again for tuning in, and keep wandering through good books, God's Word, and God's World Pilgrims. <music>